okay now we will create a new language directory and then we are going to add a new language okay just close this one and here i'm going to go with the static files how you can add the files into the laravel and then add your translations there so by default laravel contain a en directory which means that it's english it's for the english so basically laravel is using first two characters for the uh, for a specific language you can use three four or even full uh, full text of your language it's totally up to you but you need to call this same as you are mentioning it here so there is nothing is but for the english you need to mention the en then it will override your uh, then you can override the default logic otherwise english wouldn't work right so try to mention this en okay and if you want to customize this so you can customize here in the file you can add the message.php and then you can add the you are all of the stuff there okay for now we have only lang and then i'm going to add the french right so how to do this and if you wanted to know that how you can publish this in the previous video we run this command so you can uh, simply open the uh, laravel official documentation here laravel.com and you can see these uh, steps there right so it's a pretty straightforward steps i'm going to do this uh, translation or maybe locale uh, locale or oh, not locale yeah in laravel it's also called the localization so uh, here by default it's contain the en message.php right it doesn't contain the this message.php but you can create to override the existing messages okay and then you can also create the json files like this and you can publish the files using this one right and um, now i'm going to add a new language and then setting its locale so now let's go back here i'm going to open this out here and now let's so uh, close this en directory and in the lang i'm going to create a add a french language so here just to create a new folder fr for french okay it's created and in the french you need to create the messages.php so basically this one is a laravel standard to add the translations in the messages.php file but if you want to use your own custom file custom.php so don't worry you can add this right but uh, where you are calling this uh, uh, custom.php you need to uh, mention the custom.php not the message.php that's it other uh, thing is identical okay uh, so here i'm going to type this uh, messages.php okay now it's added and here you need to mention the php syntax here okay and then simply return this an array so array contain the keys of uh, your translation so i'm going to add a key of welcome oops it's a welcome okay and then here i'm going to assign a value to this welcome so basically i will call this key and then uh, getting its value welcome to the laravel 10 translations by uh, carrier development development lab right so i have added a key and its value so now let's close this out and how you can call this so simply uh, go into your desire uh, blade i'm using this uh, default welcome.blade.php file right and here i'm going to uh, basically remove the other stuff like uh, this one i'm going to just uh, I mean this laravel okay just remove this one and here i'm going to add uh, uh, h2 let me add this welcome just typing this checking that is it working yeah welcome is here i'm going to add this into the div div uh, which contain a style of margin top origin top would be 50 px and here my content so let's get refresh and yes looks fine okay but my this heading isn't working because uh, 
it's a bootstrap heading so let me add this font size be maybe 18 px so let's get refresh and do uh, still let's need the 26 save this one and get refresh and yes it's fine now right and now i don't want to display this uh, hard-coded welcome right so here i don't want to display this out i want to display the translation of uh, multiple language if it's open the uh, en so it will open this in the english if the it's open the french it will open the french right so here i'm going to type mustache sign and then you need to enter two underscore and then this notation okay and here you need to mention your first file name right in this case here we have uh, uh, messages dot uh, uh, then you need to mention your key name. So my key name is welcome, right? So save this one Save this key name and then welcome, right? Okay, fine now uh, This key is added here, but if you don't have uh, any locales It will display like this messages dot welcome same as we did it here So how we can set the locale, right? So then this will be translated so let me check the video size okay it's going bigger but uh, i think i need to shoot this here i don't want to don't need to create the too many uh, videos for this so let me do it here so just go here go web.php file and here this one is a uh, welcome so here whenever i'm opening this uh, view i want to set the locale so if you want to set the locale you can see it from the documentation app then set locale this one is a facade so just type this um, app i have added this name at the top because i'm using the vs code extension so if you want to use this vs code extension you can watch my vs code course okay and here you need to call this set to locale okay and in the locale you need to set your language name i'm mentioning this uh, en okay save this one and uh, here give it a refresh so it's there is nothing here so let me check that it's a um, app set locale it's fine but if i type this fr yeah because this uh, my lang doesn't contain the message start php file so let's get refresh and yes it's saying that welcome to the laravel 10 translation by career development lab okay now just go here uh, copy this messages.php file and I'm going to paste this into the en English, right? I'm going to first add this for the English. So basically this one is a uh, English content, right? And here in the fr, I don't want to add this. I want to add here French translation, right? So how I can add the French translation? So just go to the translator and simply translate this into the French. So here I mentioned the French. So just copy this out and paste this out okay so now just type this en so this is basically this one is for the english so let's get refresh and displaying in the english but if i go here and now type fr it will display the french here refresh and yes it's displaying the french you can also change the language from here it's a uh, english it's a uh, french now uh, no not the french why because we are not loading it on the runtime when we will load our url here in the in the url so then we will uh, able to translate this using this one right for now we are successfully able to uh, choose the language here uh, hard coded here en and french and it's working fine from the next video we will load this dynamically how we can make this dynamically like if we will um, uh, uh, user is want to translate this into the french so then this will be loaded in the french uh, and uh, you will see this in the next video and if you like the video so thumbs up and share your feedback in the comment box so i will meet you in the next one bye bye